we shall overcome. Well, God bless every one of you that are in, amen, my listening audience. Certainly, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we are rejoicing. We thank God for victory, amen, and we thank God that in Jesus, we are overcomers. Why? Because Jesus spoiled principalities and powers And he made a show of them openly, triumphing over every one of them in it. And we give God the glory for every victory that is loosed in the earth realm, even for the least of them all. Amen. You know, the scripture says that the Lord chose the weak. Yes. Why? Because he would be able to be glorified. And the female is included. Though Eve fell from her place of being in the image of the Father, but the female is still included in God's plan, and we thank God for that. I want to say that on Mondays, we usually deal with abortion. Today is Monday, and we're giving God the glory that this ministry has been chosen to deal with such issues that are many times in need of the weapons of the warfare that are in the kingdom of God, the weapons. One of the weapons is the sword of the spirit, and the scripture says, which is the word of God. Some time ago, at least a couple of years ago, The Spirit of the Lord took me in a vision into the Cayman Islands, the Cayman Islands. In fact, the Spirit of God spoke, and he said, the Cayman Islands. In going into that vision, into that experience, it was to expose human and sex trafficking that is going on in the Cayman Islands. Of course, many times you don't hear of that. There are people that are involved in that that would not want themselves to be exposed because of their status. Some have elite status. There are others that may even have government status in different nations because the Cayman Islands are down in the Caribbean. So it's a place that can, you know, people can hide. Sex is something that draws people of every walk of life that is promoted by the lust of the flesh. God ordained that a man and a woman would marry And sex is the way that they keep their relationship on a good relation, a good level. Praise the Lord. But there are people that go beyond that because of the lust of the flesh. And so, therefore, they go into places that are hidden to have sex. And the Cayman Islands is one such place. Not too long ago, there were 
accounts in the news, and we're going to be sharing those accounts in times to come of research and discovery. And not only that, but the law has become involved in what is going on in the Cayman Islands. Not only in the Cayman Islands, but in the United States of America. Cities, Chicago, Atlanta, New York, Los Angeles, wherever. It's going on. Young people are being bought and sold as sex slaves. And that is one of the ticks, the upticks of abortion. There is a recorded testimony of a young woman that has had 17 abortions because she is a victim of human and sex trafficking. Such activity is and must continue to be a part of law enforcement. But many times law enforcement is weak unless there is prayer that enforces the strength of the law. You know God has a law. God has the way to enforce the law. One thing, God will cause whoever and whatever to be exposed when enough of the people of God pray. When the Spirit of the Lord began to deal with me about this, I, again, I discerned that somebody who probably is a victim and then those that are uh, people that are on the front line fighting and warring against human and sex trafficking. Somebody's praying. Somebody's pulling on God. And so, therefore, God is stirring his people to be involved. And I give God the glory for being one of those. Now, let me say this to you. Abortion is against God's will unless it is to save the life of a woman a mother. It's against the will of God. But people are using abortion to hide their mess. So what's going to happen, mark this, what's going to happen, somebody of elite status, could be a government official, could be somebody from another country, like somebody was exposed from England. There could be somebody else that's going to be exposed as a sex trafficker, human trafficker. It's going to happen. It's going to get, the, get in the news because somebody has been calling on God and probably the combination of those that are seeking to stop that activity as well as someone that is involved. And in this day and time, it can be female or male because there are men, young men, sometimes boys, that have been stolen and kidnapped, and now they're used as sex and human trafficking, as well as young women. So I'm asking the prayers of the saints, amen. We're going to deal with this as the Spirit of God would lead. Knowing that abortion is against the will of God in the first place and for it to be used as a cover-up, that's against the law. So we're going to, amen, pray also. If you are a person that has been involved in such, amen, let me say this to you. If God is for us and God is for you, whoever you are, if God is for you, there is no person that can continue to be against you and not be discovered. 
you will be delivered. You're going to be set free. Amen. You're going to be set free. Praise the Lord. If you have a relative that has been stolen, kidnapped, whatever, God's going to set that person free. You got people in this United States that steal people and trick them into relationships. And if not into a relationship, they trick them. Amen. So that they don't even realize what's happening to them unless until it's too late. And a lot of them are men and women and young men of, and women of color. We're going to overcome this in Jesus' name. God, in the name of Jesus, we praise you for the blood. We thank you that you are concerned that the power of God prevails against human and sex trafficking. In the name of Jesus, and we will give you the glory. That young woman, that young girl, that young boy, that young man that wants deliverance, God, that's calling on you. It won't be too long. Let the law discover. Let the law, the law is for the lawless. Let the law bring deliverance. And we will give you the glory. And we will say that you have done it in Jesus' name. Well, God bless you. Pray for me.